Hey guys, welcome back to Judo Highlights. So day three was amazing. We're going to start talking about this guy, Nakano Kanta from Japan. He had an absolutely sensational performance, throwing people multiple times, biggie pawns. I mean, it was just absolutely incredible. Now, sometimes I've kind of thought that he's a little bit small for the division. And the heavyweights that were at Zagreb, maybe they weren't the biggest of the biggest. Teddy Renier, for example, Bashaev, Rakimov, these kinds of guys. Much taller, much heavier than him. Saito as well. But Nakano, he's 125 kgs. 181 centimeters tall, which is a little bit short. But his techniques are absolutely beautiful. Really crisp. You can just see his movement, his kumite, his ability to respond to certain situations is much better than Saito. So we'll see how he does. I'm really liking his ability to kind of become this black horse coming behind Saito and if things go well for him he may even be selected for the Olympics in Los Angeles I mean Saito's performance in Paris was pretty bad I gotta say but Nakano I mean his win rate is way better than Saito's right now and with this gold medal performance he's definitely up there definitely in the discussion now before we talk about the bronze medal contests at under 100s Kani Basami right here it's hard to see from the camera angle but Pretty intentional going on the inside of the thigh there. And then the response to to losing. I mean, I just don't understand how people somehow do this. You must know of the rule. But some people, they just do it without thinking. It's crazy. So the bronze medals, we've got Borchas Philly losing to Nakano. Went through the ripper charge and then a nice technique here. Now Snipe in the other side of the bracket, he lost. Went in for a nice Uchimata here against Lima. This was considered head diving, but more so than that, look at this guy's nose. Lima, his nose, it's bigger than mine. And I have a big, big nose. Now for no particular reason, we'll go down to under 90s and we'll talk about the gold medal contest here. Big Uranage, couldn't quite finish the technique and then gets put into the Osaikomi. So a gold for Safrani and a silver Franco Wiak from Brazil. Here's another highlight from Safrani from early on. Took out Van Dyke. Now Van Dyke ended up going through the ripper charge and took out Jabonashvili. Kind of hard to see the technique that was done here in Golden Score with the camera angles, but looks like a drop down sode. And last on the other side of the bracket, it was Japaridze from Georgia. Nice Ujimata here. This wasn't the bronze medal contest, but that one did end in Shido. And then even his ripper charge match, he didn't have to fight that one because Talibov was out for some reason. Now, under 100s, we had another judoka from Great Britain making it all the way to the finals. Although Thompson came up short, ended up losing this contest to Savitsky. I guess that's a Sumiotoshi. Not a lot of leg involved in the throw, but good control of the upper body. I definitely think that is a score. A year or two ago, they definitely would not have scored that a score. But I am hopeful that in the next coming months, we will get some really nice rule changes. I actually heard on the Japanese broadcast that they're considering bringing back leg grabs. I probably should have said that at the beginning of this video. But yes, Kanemaru, he's on the commentating team for the Japanese commentary that they're doing now for these big events. And he was saying that it is in discussion at the moment, which is pretty exciting. And now guys, I am just realizing at the end of this video, I do not have any of the footage from under 78 and plus 78. I've got a top Epons video coming soon, so if there are some great Epons from those categories, I'll definitely include them. But just for today's video, we're going to stop here. Anyway guys, sorry about that. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.